With Earth Week upon us, we decided to dig up some tips to make your yard more eco-friendly. One group that's wild about nature shares with our own Kevin Maycheck the many benefits of native plants. As spring arrives, Naperville resident Patricia Armstrong does a controlled burn in her yard to kill off the chemicals and weeds in the ground, better preparing the soil for native landscaping to grow. They're trying to make not just a garden with plants all in a row, but we're trying to make a habitat where insects and birds and worms and sow bugs and all of the little creatures can live together and be in harmony. In 1991, Armstrong founded a DuPage County chapter of the not-for-profit Wild Ones, a group that began in Wisconsin to encourage homeowners to replace their lawns with native prairies. Doing so can provide a habitat for wildlife, including insects that act like natural pollinators, helping flowers to flourish without much effort from humans. You don't have to spray any pesticides, you don't have to have lawn, you don't have to mow, you don't have to water because native plants are adapted to our soils and our climate. So native plants can get by with very little help from people. And that also reduces carbon emissions in the air, which have been linked to heart and lung cancers. Another benefit of native plants is that they're perennial, meaning they grow back year after year. And because their roots go much deeper into the ground than that of traditional grass, they also better absorb rainwater, which can ultimately protect your home from floods. When we had the flood here a few years ago, 19 inches of rain in 24 hours, not one drop ran out of my yard. If the idea of turning your entire yard into a native prairie seems overwhelming, you can start with portions of it. You can put pathways in it and you can limit it. You can be a, a lot of prairie or a little bit of prairie and so on. So you can still ha keep some bluegrass where you want to see bluegrass, like we have bluegrass in our front yard. Herb Nadelhofer, along with his wife Mary Lou Worley, a commissioner for the Forest Preserve District of DuPage County, joined the Wild Ones a few years ago. With the group's help, they now have a variety of native plants in their backyard that will start to blossom when the weather warms. Wild Ones has brought into our lives a much broader appreciation of Illinois and of how even in an urban one-quarter acre typical Naperville lot, we can participate in making the environment better, not only natural environment, but our enjoyment of it. It's, it's a beautiful place to be. Armstrong says that now's a good time to plan your planting, as many local gardening nurseries will soon start to have native plant sales throughout May. I'm Kevin Maycheck for Naperville News 17. For more information on the group, visit dupage.wildones.org.